So just doing a quick summary for a minute before I proceed to actual implementation of this. So in a repository, if you go with standard branching pattern, standard repository layout, you will have trunk, branches and tags. Trunk is primarily used for development phase and once development is frozen, you want to start release activities, you will create a branch from trunk and all the release activities will happen in a branch and once the final build is released, once the final build is released, then you will, you will create an archive, a label called tag representing the code base of the particular version that is released. And for post release activities like maintenance, hotfix delivery, you will need to create a branch from tag because tag is where your release code base is present. So trunk for development, branches for release activities and tag for labeling the released versions. So this is how the repository layout in subversion is provided. So here I am in trunk. So let me make my last fix and then I will say development is done. I am just making my last fix here. So open the file as a developer. Last commit for development. I am making my last commit here and then I am just kind of you know saying development phase is closed. Okay. Done. So, so, so the development phase is complete. Now it is time for me. I got a mail from my QE, from my project manager saying that the develop, dev teams have completed their development. Now please go ahead and create a branch so that we will start the testing activities or release activities. Okay. So now what I will do, right click Tortoise SVN. You will see this. If you install Tortoise client in your system, you will see this. So you will, you will have here an option of branch or tag. You will have an option of branch or tag. So whether you ultimately in the subversion context, whether you are creating a branch, whether you are creating a tag, it does not make any difference in technically. Because what you are taking is a copy of the source code at a given revision, at a given point of time. So technically both have the same command. Okay. So tortoise SVN branch. So now you are creating a branch. So you are creating it from trunk. It's your development. Now what is the path that you want to give? Naturally you want it to be under branches. Okay. Slash give the name, give some name of the branch. I will say app 1.0 because I am working on but I know it's time for me to do release activities for 1.0. Okay. Here I need to give a message creating a app 1.0 branch for the release activities of version 1.0. Okay. So I am just creating it. Either I can choose from a particular point of time, I can choose from the latest revision. So let me choose the latest head revision. Head means latest. Present revision number. You see presently it is 15. Now if I commit it. Now it copy finish. You see revision number incremented. Any commit that you make to, that you make to your repository will increment your revision number which is a global variable which, which is responsible for keeping each change separately. Every change in SVN, every change in SVN is recognized by using your revision. So let me go and check that in my branches folder. Did I get a branch? Refresh. Now if we go to branches, I have an app 1.0 created now. Okay. I have successfully created a branch. Okay. Now I am the developer who is yesterday I was given trunk. Since I completed my work, today I am the one who is responsible for all the release activities. So immediately they asked me to create, to take the checkout of the branch. Okay. So I am taking the checkout of the branch now. 
into f1.0 okay so i have b so now i have one source code for trunk and one source code for 1.0 release activities okay now let me make some fixes here so i will say it 501 integration testing bug fix so here bug fix are happening actively commit integrate please understand here i am making the fix in the branches i am making the fix in the branches part okay in app 1.0 i am providing the fix done i completed so now let me provide one more fix fixed uat bug 111 so one more one more bug i have fixed here okay so let me close it let me commit it fixing uat bug 1.0 release activities so couple of couple of fixes i am making here done okay now what i have done is that i have created a branch right and then i have provided some fixes here which are all committed to the repository great now so i have trunk i created a branch in the branch i made some fixes now let's let's assume that i am now my bugs are closed for this release let me release the software okay so from this branch now i will create a tag so here i will say from this branch i am creating a tag because branch is where file build is released i will say slash tags and in that i will put a name app 1.0 release so this indicates that in the tag i am keeping this keeping the release code base of 1.0 creating a tag from app 1.0 creating a tag from app 1.0 creating a tag from app 1.0 commit so revision number is incremented now if you go to your visual svn server you will see that now in branches you have something now in tag you have created this is the trunk the branches and the tags okay here is that now it was in development we created a branch now we created a tag finally for maintenance tomorrow the uh, on the released code released version if people are logging defects where do we fix we cannot fix here here or here right because tag is for archival purpose branch is over it when once the when the build is released this branch is not does not exist anymore okay so we need to create a branch but for a change not from trunk but we need to create it from tag because tag is where the release code base exists so if you want to create a branch on top of the 
release code means we have to create it from tag itself. So we will be creating a branch from tag now. So for that let me take the tag checkout also. SVN checkout. This is our tag in the tags folder. So I am just taking the checkout here. Okay. Now I will say from here I will create a branch. So where should it always branches branch will be under branches folder. Branches slash I have 1.0 I will say hotfix because generally when we say the word hotfix when something is in production and suddenly there is a production blocker and immediately they will raise an issue emergency issue so then there will be two once the software is released there will be two types of fixes that we provide one is hotfixes one is fix packs okay when I say hotfix it means if somebody logs such a such a hotfix in 24 to 48 hours, you should provide a solution for him. Hard fix means business standstill, which means we should provide fixes immediately when the customer asks. On the other hand, fix pack means generally you will identify some bugs and then you will slowly fix them and you collect a set of bugs and set of fixes and after say one month or so, you will release them to all your customers saying if you use this fix pack, you will have a lot of good things. Something like if you open your windows even today also you will get automatic updates. It's something like that. Even though you have windows 7 released but still he wants to give you some updates so that windows will function better. On the same lines, any software you purchase they will be giving you continuous updates. That will ensure that your system is in, you will have some early some bugs which are existing internally will be resolved. So once the software is released in the maintenance mode you will you will need to have two kinds of two kinds of deliveries one is hot fix delivery that will be delivered as and soon a bug is logged a fix bag which you will collect the bugs and release after one month or so okay so generally you will see maintenance branches will be either hot fix branch or fix pack branch so here we are creating a hot fix branch creating a hotfix branch from 1.0 release tag right close the division number is 19 and whenever I am creating a branch the number will be incremented by 120 okay this is the concept of branching in subversion